Hi there and welcome to Rusty Compass uh, weekly update number five. From now on I'm going to call these weekly walks for obvious reasons. And today I'm in Bankstown in Sydney and I'm going to be having lunch with uh, two very dear old friends, Carl Robinson and his wife Kim. I first met Carl and Kim back, oh, must be 25 years ago. They had a restaurant uh, in Newtown in Sydney. It was one of the first uh, Vietnamese restaurants. I won't run across the road against the uh, don't walk sign, uh, much as I'm tempted. Um, yeah, they opened a Vietnamese restaurant called Old Saigon in Newtown in, uh, I guess they opened it in the 80s. I'm not sure exactly when they opened it. but. Um, and we've known each other since then. Carl was a correspondent in Saigon during the Vietnam War and he married Kim in the late 1960s and they've been uh, happily married ever since. I'm sure they've had the usual ups and downs but uh, as you'll see they're still a wonderful couple together. The reason we're here in Bankstown is that Bankstown is one of the uh, centres of the Vietnamese community in Sydney. And there are three I guess main Vietnamese centres in Sydney and uh, that, that were kind of established in the late 1970s and early 80s as the boat people started to arrive here and Bankstown was one of them and in fact in the centre of Bankstown here we have a monument to uh, those who perished uh, trying to escape Vietnam after 1975. I did. I'm filming you, Carl. Hi, how are you? I better declare this. <laughs> Kim's away! Khoai! Chị có khoai không? Bây giờ đang quay phim đó. Dạ hả? Quay để làm gì? I was just saying before we met Carl that I met you for the first time at uh, Old Saigon in probably 91. Yeah. Yes, yes. Yeah. When you guys had Old Saigon. <laughs> wow, lâu yeah, quá. Newtown, 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 or, I think we no, Newtown. Newtown. No, I met you at Newtown. Yeah, yeah it was Newtown. So Hi. tell us about this monument, Carl. Yeah. This is, I was, it was inaugurated in 2011. And it commemorates the uh, boat people who lost their lives uh, fleeing from Vietnam. Carl's just telling me that this area is called Saigon Place. And... Uh, and it's becoming a bit of a tourist attraction for Vietnamese from other parts of the world, is that right? And from yeah. Vietnam as well, yeah? yeah? And I guess Vietnamese come here to eat authentic Vietnamese food as well. Well, yeah, to, uh, to have a cafe. A cafe, a couple, a couple cafe, cafe suit a cafe where they're still smoking like uh, there's no band. <laughs> <laughs> so where are we going, Kim Jong Wei? Korean food. Korean food. Let me Korean food. Come on, then I want Korean food. Dao. Thay đổi thực đơn. Kim wanted us to try a new Korean barbecue place, but I only get out to Bankstown a couple of times a year, and so I was pretty insistent that we eat Vietnamese. Oh yeah. But before lunch, Kim took us on a little tour. Apparently Kim and Carl have known this butcher for 38 years in Sydney. So uh, Kim wants to show me this place. See, <laughs> 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 Young girl, now look at that. Okay. See the chủ đây à? Chị là chủ đây à? Chủ đâu? Chủ đó. Đây không có chủ hết đúng không? So what? Ah, so they actually sell this already marinated. A little bit of Vietnamese got quite a reaction from the staff and the other customers. Vết vết cao và kia kim cũng hai mươi năm năm rồi. My parents was open this place, and barely any Vietnamese. Did they open it here, or? Yeah. So they had the same place. Yes, same shop, and then now the parents older retire, pass on to the children. So I know them since they were little kids. Wow. So that's why they called me aunt. 38 years ago. So they opened here in what, 1977? 
Yeah, 76, I think. That's right. And I support them ever since. And when I left and I came back. So you still buy your meat there, do you? Yeah, oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. And, and, we, and there's marinated packs we Because want I went here. away for so long, about more than 15 years, I came back. And they remember me and I couldn't believe it. From Balmont P. Oh, yeah? Carl, can I say that I'm a big fan of your little cart there? That's just gorgeous. <laughs> it's very becoming. <laughs> and it's very good of you, Kim, that you've uh, delegated the job of dragging that thing along to Carl. <laughs> His job. Yes. I'm not caring when I go shopping, and he's the one caring. Kim is an expert in all things Bankstown, or Carl and Kim both. So you guys, personal questions, what year did you get married? I was speculating about that before. 1969. 1969. And we just celebrated 47 years last week. <laughs> and where did you where did you have the wedding? In Gokam. In, 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 uh, in the family home in, 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 uh, in, in Gokam, in front of the family altar. Wow. The party at home too. My mom cooked everything. Wow, so it was like only ha half of the ceremony, right? Because normally you would go from the bride's house to the groom's house and have the ceremony. But then we had the whole ceremony at her, in front of her family altar. And that was some pretty precious pictures. Yeah, I've seen some that. photos yeah. of the wedding. Beautiful photos. And, 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 and we had, then we had the banquet outside, in the yard outside, with, 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 uh, with, with, with parachute, right? Sort of right. The canopy. Yeah, yeah. For the sun. So did you have a wedding in Saigon as well, or did you no. just... And did you have mates come down from Saigon? No. Is it, were you the only Thai there, were you? Bloody, bloody, bloody horse fast only gave me a day and a half off. <laughs> so... He said, I, I only have one day. <laughs> did anybody have me and Hugh Van S, you know? <laughs> Hugh Van S only got half a day off. You know, it's, it's good enough for me. It's good, it's so good enough. you were the only Thai yeah. at your wedding? Uh, no, uh, uh, no, we did have uh, we did have a uh, 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 Ollie Noonan who sadly was shot down in the helicopter uh, only six months later. He's a good friend. He came down, and I appointed him the official photographer. Okay. But, uh, and, and some friends like uh, Mike Morrow and Sean Flynn was there. The son of the son of uh, of, of the actor. Errol Flynn and Tim Page would have been there, but uh, he had been uh, badly wounded just the just in the weeks before. Wow! In the weeks before our wedding. And was Gokong safe at that time? Oh yeah, it was probably one of the most pacified provinces in in, in Vietnam, in South Vietnam. Was it? Yeah, because the because the 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 Arvin, the South Vietnamese, and the Viet Cong used it as an R and R place. And all the action took place over in Dean too, right? Mita and then Plant of Reeds and all that. Okay. So or I had worked in Gokong starting in mid-64 with you, with you, you say. Uh, and, uh, and then when I, I went away and came, came back and... Uh, oh, <laughs> That's a small one. <laughs> We need a sense of proportion here. How did you guys meet Kim I? How did Carl woo you? How did he win your heart? I don't know. Why? How? <laughs> <laughs> I was just a schoolgirl and he just chased after um, He just picked me out of the crowd. Look, day. Chị bao nhiêu tuổi? Lúc đấy, 18 tuổi. 18 tuổi. Okay, so you were still in school in Alzheimer's, my god, yeah. you're a cradle snatcher, Carl. Yeah. Right. These, these, the these flights of angels would go by my house you know, four times a day. So you were living in Gokong at this time? Yeah, yeah, and they'd, they'd float by and, 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 uh, and, this, and, and, one, and one girl always took her hat off and smiled at this beautiful smile. And I said, oh, who I was, was told, that? I was told by the teacher the, 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 the whole uh, school was saying that um, that there's about 12 American advisors come to our hometown 
to help us, so to pay respect, any school, any kid, school kid, see them, have to take the hat and bow to say thank you. If you ever been caught not doing so, we'd be punished by standing in the middle of the schoolyard under the flagpole, punished. Wow. I'm so were you worried that if you refused Carl's yeah. overtures, you might be punished? No, Keith. I'm the one. Are you still <laughs> worried about that? <laughs> <laughs> so, I'm the first top five in the school. So, I'm not going to have that happen to me, no way. She was also uh, the, the, the military advisor in, in, in the province, had, had an evening class where they taught English in their spare time. And, uh, and she sneaked, it was basically for civil servants, military and civilian, who worked for the South Vietnamese government. But she slipped in. She was already studying English at school, and she slipped into the into the class, and and she she was way ahead of everybody else. She was so I heard about her from some military advisors, and all they, this really young young schoolgirl who speaks English really well. So I was introduced to her. That they actually introduced me to her, and I'm still in touch with the guy who introduced us. And how much uh, later did you guys actually get married? How long was the courtship? How long did it take for Carl to woo you? It's a marriage. You, 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 you remember when when this is the the when when uh, when they finally decided to start having the negotiations between the United States and and, and, and North Vietnam to end the war with the, you know, the with L. B. Johnson and early days. You remember the first big argument they had was how the shape of the table. Yeah. It, it took that long. It took as long as 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 the delegations took to decide the shapes of the table in, in Paris for her father to agree to us getting married. <laughs> he was he was very reluctant to, to we really had to convince him. And, uh, the big job. <laughs>